Welcome to the Cambridge and District Humane Society. My name is Bonnie Deacon. I'm the executive director of this society. What an amazing world of animals that we have each and every day. We hope that through our video this week that you will understand how important education is in the work that we do. You will meet sometime during this video some of the young people that do so much to support us. We do every month a character trait and the month of February, which was when we fundraised, was the character of kindness. So to show kindness to animals was our big thing and we wanted to also contribute to a local charity, didn't we? Can you yeah. talk about that, Bailey? Um, we wanted to contribute to a local charity because it'll help, people will donate more because they'll see how it's affecting our community and we're hoping to be able to help the animals too. And how did you feel about helping? What did it make you feel like? Helping made me have this warm, fuzzy feeling inside, and I love helping animals and everybody. It's real, it was really nice to help a lot of people in this thing, especially locally. We raised over $1,100 for the shelter, and we also gathered over 1,300 pounds of food. And it was very encouraging to see when we dropped off the food, the reaction of the, the members of the Humane Society, how, how touched they were. And it was a very heartwarming moment, I have to say. This is Frankie. Frankie is about 11 weeks old and was surrendered to the Cambridge and District Humane Society because her owners had another dog and it didn't get along with this sweet little puppy. We need a, a very special family for this. Rainbow Bright is a six-year-old cockapoo that was brought to the shelter because her, her family could no longer care for her. We had to spay and neuter her, have her teeth cleaned, and look after her over these last periods of time. Um, these are very expensive costs um, in part of our education program or from a member of the public. A hundred dollar wellness um, certificate would help us an awful lot. Our programs not only include the school program where we have a school person who goes out to each of the schools and teaches them how important their animals are. But we also have our spay neuter programs and probably the most important one right at this time of the year is our spay your mama. Spay your mama means that if you have a cat who, that has a litter of four or more kittens, if you would keep them in your home for those six weeks, then bring us all of those kittens, we would be happy to place them up for adoption have them spayed or neutered, and then spay your mother, and the same applies to our dogs. Again, education is every step of the way. Senior animals come to us a lot. Like myself, we all get older, and sometimes people cannot handle their animals any longer. So they bring us a dog or a cat that they have had for five to 10 years, and then the cat still needs to enjoy their lives. We're hoping through education that we can make people understand how important the work that we do is. We have recently been fortunate enough to have animal control for the City of Cambridge come under our direction. We are changing the name of animal control to animal services. Animal services for the Cambridge and District Humane Society for the City of Cambridge will all be incorporated. It'll be the officers from this building that will go out and help with strays, dead or injured animals, or any type of animal control problem you have, please don't hesitate. Call Animal Services 519-623-6323.